Praise the Lord. Praise God. Uh, just sitting here, I got about 15, 20 minutes before I go in and to worship the Lord in spirit and truth. And I got a call this morning from a, a ministerial brother of mine in D.C. And he was talking about how church attendance has fallen off and uh, how people don't attend anymore. And I can hear him. I can hear how distraught he was in his spirit. I can, I know the pain, brother. And see, a lot of people have forgotten that the local church is a organism just as much as it needs organization and just as much as it is a organization. But the living and breathing part of the local church, the organism, has to be fed. So we started talking. He said, Dave, I need a word, man. He's like, he's, I can barely mount the pool pit. He's saying, you always seem to be so up. I said, well, brother, we have to be instant in season and instant out of season. And I can feel his pain. And we prayed and, and, and I had to give him a testimony and an admonition as well as um, encouragement at the same time. And so knowing you know, his life and he knowing my life, you know, we've been friends for a long time. Um, we served together in Fort Myer, Virginia, and, and we served together in Fort Belvoir, Virginia. And so I, I, I started, you know, to interact with his spirit and with tr true stories, gory stories, and his story and his space story. And I was talking to him along the lines of divorce uh, when a church, a local church splits, why people uh, separate and divorce, why local churches split and the organism dies and the organization stays in place, the same order of service, the same staff, the same ritualistic way of worship. The organization stays the same, but the living and breathing organism dies. Same program, same bulletin. See, a lot of local churches have died because of bulletins and programs versus feeding the organism. You know, the three B's, the baptized, born again believer constitutes um, the local church, but you must have birthmarks of the believer and belief and faith are prerequisite. But when you're in a position of leadership, people have to allow you to pastor them. You can't, you know, you can hit a mule over the head with a two by four and he won't get up until you stop hitting him over the head with a two by four. So I said to him that, I asked the question, I said, we both are divorcees. We both have shot out of the cannon or been shot out of the cannon or been spewed out. And he started laughing, Dave, you got away with the words. I said, no, I just got to paint the picture so you get the, the effect and the cause and you'll get the, see, we paint the picture with watercolors and wash away. We paint the color with oils. It, it might not uh, last as long, but we, you paint the, the picture with blood, with life experiences. You'll get the whole uh, ent entire sum of the matter as I leave this alone. So I said to him, I said, when local church is split, it's not because of uh, membership and attendance. It's because of leadership. Now, when um, families divorce, parties divorce, male and female, husband and wife, husband and wife, husband and wife, uh, when they divorce, um, even if you have a wayward stepchild, just teaching, a hellacious uh, stepson, just teaching, a fast uh, street running uh, stepdaughter, I'm just teaching, they're not the cause of the divorce, they just an attribute of the pain. Uh, most people hmm, separate and divorce because they can't get along. Oh, help me, Lord. Uh, Sometimes you get two people who just can't get along. Oh, help me, Lord. Uh, see, it's, people don't divorce and separate and become estranged. Uh, majority of the time, most of the time, because of the children. Just like local churches don't bust up and break up because of the children. They bust up and break up because of leadership. Hmm. As I leave this alone, when the leaders of local churches understand it, it's leadership instead of leader slash ship. You got this faction, this family, this party on your side. 
But you have to be one Lord, one faith, one baptism. As I leave this be. Marriages don't bust up because of children. Marriages don't bust up because of stepchildren. Even our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, was a stepchild. Because Joseph was not his biological father. Joseph was his, was his dad and his earthly father. But his heavenly father, huh, uh, we must worship in spirit and in truth. So I pray this touches the heart of these leaders and husbands who need to understand that there's no such thing as a queendom, but a kingdom. And when you're not being led by the spirit of God, it says in Romans, hmm, one, and, excuse me, John 1 and 12, that we can become sons and daughters of God. But in Romans 8, it says those who are led by his spirit, hallelujah, are his sons and daughters. Look at John 1 and 12. Then go over to Romans, I think, 8 and 15. It says, those who are led by his spirit are his sons or daughters, as I leave this be. So families don't bust up because of a managed boy or a fast girl. Families don't bust up because of a gang-banging child or a drug-addicted uh, drug child. Families break up because of leadership, headship, followership. Families break up because of husband and wifeship that are sinking. Families break up because sometimes you get two good people. We just can't get along as I leave this be. So I was blessed to have a deep conversation with this morning about the organism, the organization. Even we talked about the symbol of the cross, which is the vertical portion. At the top of the vertical portion is God. At the base is me. I'm at the bottom or you at the bottom. Our Father in heaven is at the top. That's the vertical. Now I get the vertical right, I'll get the horizontal right. Then and only then we must understand that the local church is not about the wooden structure. It's about the instructions. Holy Bible. He only left you basic instructions before leaving earth. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum. Allah Hafiz. Gesundheit. Gruß Gott. Deal seven diga. God bless you. God protect you. You know, I need the heart and mind of God just as much as he needs my arms and legs. He can have my heart and mind. I need his heart and mind. That way, everywhere that my arms and legs carry me, I have the substance and the presence of God within me. God bless you and God keep you is my prayer. Worship him in spirit and truth. You worship in everything else, your cars, your jobs, one another, your homes. Worship him and your life will change. It's not about being a, a religious fanatic. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual because I worship the most high God, high God in spirit and in truth organization we have focus on the organization yes you have that too but the organism is dying the heart and mind he says let this mind be in you also in christ jesus he says be ye transformed by the renewal of the mind he says creating me a clean heart and renewing me the right spirit pastor rabbani imam rabbi y'all need to understand local churches mosques synagogues they don't bust up because of the children. They bust up because of leadership. When we understand that only then, only when we understand, only then that these organizations, these organisms are dying and breaking up because of headship and leadership and fellowship and fellowship and not because of the children who have lost in the ship, then and only then hmm, will your ministry grow. God bless you. Then and only again. Will your synagogue or your mosque or your church grow? Only when we recognize and realize, even in marriage, that it's not the children that busted up the marriage or busted up the home. It was mommy and daddy. It was the pastor. It was the rebondi. It was the elder. It was the imam. God bless you. I pray I didn't offend. Let me get in here and worship. Peace. One.